Oh, hey there. Can you go back to saying hello, boils and ghouls, please? I hate the new opening. The new one is just so lazy and uncreative. The word creepy is somewhat just a derogatory word. It's a very low IQ word. It's not creative in any sense, and people use it for everything. So it lost the meaning, not that it really ever had one, and it's so uncreative and sloppy. You people, how's it going? It's Douglas here at Drumway Productions, bringing you a Buckethead-related video. It's been quite a while since we've done a Buckethead related video and some of you who are new to the channel may not even know who Buckethead is. But I suggest that you keep watching, you might find a new favorite artist. Buckethead is not only one of my favorite artists, but he is one of the coolest and most inspiring artists of all time. He's released several hundred albums and he's done hundreds if not thousands of paintings for fans. And he actually is a fan himself. And when I say he's a fan, I mean he's one of us. He is a huge, horror and monster nerd. He collects tons and tons of masks. He did home videos of unboxing products in the 90s when no one was going to see it at that point in time and just before anybody was doing that kind of thing. He really is one of us and I feel that for him to be one of those types of people he's really underappreciated in the mask community. And I feel that's majorly due to the fact that there's, for the most part, no vocals in his music. It's pretty much just the instrumentals of him playing guitar and either backing tracks of drums or guest drummers. But as a person, Bucket is one of the coolest of all time. And as an artist, he's one of my favorites. And I think that anyone out there listening who has never heard of him, go give it a shot. And if you don't like what you've heard initially, maybe try looking for some playlists with some of his different genre stuff because he's done stuff in almost every genre. So there's pretty much got to be something out there by Buckethead that you enjoy. But regardless, today we are going to be talking about a couple of Buckethead items. And the first item that we're going to be taking a look at is something I scored a couple of months ago. I haven't shared it here yet just because it felt like a weird thing to do a solo video on. So I just kind of waited until I could get a couple of other Buckethead things to throw it in. But it is a pretty significant piece if you are a Buckethead fan or collector. Here we have an original 1990s KFC bucket and this one is in perfect immaculate condition. This particular bucket belonged to another huge Buckethead fan and collector and he actually was a Screaming Ghostface collector as well, Mr. Byron Nix. Byron decided to get out of the collecting hobbies and pretty much left all the Facebook groups and he offered me this KFC bucket before he went because before I could even find one of these online back in the day I tried contacting some other collectors and seeing if maybe they would sell theirs and most people who are Buckethead fans, if they get one of these, they're not gonna let it go. Most of you watching are probably wondering what in the hell is this guy on about? This dude's talking about a fucking KFC bucket. And yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but of course, Buckethead gets his name from mostly the bucket upon his head. And the main bucket that he wore throughout all these years of touring, what has kind of become his signature look is the 1990s version of the KFC bucket. These initially came out in 1991, and they were used pretty much throughout the entire 90s until they switched to a new design. There were a couple of like odds and ends, holiday ones, or different kind of promotional ones throughout that time period, but pretty much throughout the rest of the year, if you went to KFC and ordered something, you were getting one of these buckets. And that brings us to the point of why these things are hard to come across and why they're collectible. They were never meant to survive. Realistically, I guess this shouldn't even be here in this kind of a condition, because these were made and meant to store greasy chicken. And after it's had greasy chicken in it, most people do what? They throw away the chicken container. Most people aren't gonna keep them that are all greasy and stained up. Though some people do and that's why they pop up now. But occasionally you can come across one like this that is absolutely, and I mean absolutely like brand new white, no stains, no issues, no problems at all. You know, it's basically like an old stock KFC bucket. And uh, by the way, any of you out there watching who are screaming Ghostface collectors, I know you guys are always in Goodwills or just different stores, yard sales, stuff like that, trying to find old vintage masks. If you come across any of these, and I do mean it does not matter what the condition is, if it's crushed up, bent up, misshapen, I want it. I'll use it for an art piece. I'll use it for like a bucket head display, something like that. I don't mind them being messed up. I'm not gonna pay crazy high prices for them 
but I would definitely like to get some messed up ones because right now I just have some mint condition copies. All right, the next item is something that I ordered from the Buckethead Pike store. If you guys are interested in picking up anything from Buckethead directly, he does have a website which I will link in the description down below. And you can buy paintings, CDs, vinyl, um, sometimes he does like painted buckets or masks that are signed, 8x10 photos, he just does like a lot of random stuff. You really never know what he's going to throw up on the Pike site. So it's kind of usually worth it to keep up to date on that if you're a Buckethead fan. But uh, this was something I ordered a while back. It was kind of a, a weird, I guess, gag purchase. With the way that Bucket did it, I thought that maybe there was going to be kind of something special going on here. And I mean, I guess there kind of is, but anyways, let's just look at the item. I think it was in October of last year, maybe. I can't quite remember. But Buckethead posted this up for sale. The Haunted Horror Sounds of Buckethead Land. And it's obviously a vinyl here. And uh, it said when you ordered it that it was an empty LP sleeve and you could get it signed or unsigned. Now, that was a bit peculiar to me because I'm like, I don't know why he's selling it. Just the empty sleeve with no record inside. Maybe they're having a problem with record manufacturing, but he needs the money, so he's selling the sleeves and he'll offer the record separately. I really didn't know what was up with that. Maybe it was going to be a shaped disc. I don't know. But I went ahead and ordered it because it sounded freaking awesome. Obviously, I love like old horror movie soundtracks or even just like uh, Halloween party spooky sound kind of soundtracks. And I thought this was going to be something like that, but done by Buckethead. And that's not what we got at all. It literally is just an empty vinyl record sleeve. The artwork here by Frank and Seuss is really, really cool. I love the artwork. And it is signed on the bottom by Buckethead. And if we flip it to the back, it's completely black, except for a personalized drawing by Buckethead. So this is some original Buckethead artwork. And I believe all of these were completely different. Some of them are just like random zany characters that he's drawn whatever but i was one of the ones lucky enough to get it and this thing looks awesome this is one of the best self portraits of bucket that i've seen him do and uh typically it looks more like this on my wrist whenever he's signing or doing the self portrait logo but this one actually has a bit more definition of the mask it's pretty cool the big complaint i have is it's kind of just a gag gift i guess maybe the joke is that the haunted sounds of buckethead land are nothing because buckethead land doesn't really exist i don't know if that's the joke or they literally just wanted to sell like a 12 by 12 art piece i don't i don't know part of me still holding out that maybe one day we will get a real release of the haunted horror sounds of buckethead land but at this point it doesn't look too promising all right and now we are down to the final piece which i'm very very excited to share with you guys this is for sure one of the coolest buckethead pieces in the collection this piece was gifted to me by my friend paul gilroy Paul is also a horror and metal fan, of course, and uh, Paul had a very unique opportunity and seized that opportunity. Here we have a 1986, so not quite the very, very same mask that Buckethead used primarily, but still it's pretty much a Buckethead mask. We have a 1986 Cesar, blank white male, signed by Paul Gilbert. Paul Gilroy went to a Paul Gilbert concert dressed as Buckethead in a pretty damn convincing Buckethead cosplay, might I add, and uh, met him afterwards and brought a couple of these masks to get signed. One for me and one for himself. And it was kind of a funny moment whenever he got to meet Paul Gilbert because he seemed a little bit confused. It could possibly be because my friend was dressed like Buckethead and for years and years, many people have theorized that Paul Gilbert was Buckethead. Of course, though, that is not the case, though Paul Gilbert is a good friend of Buckethead's and actually a mentor to Buckethead. So he seemed a little bit thrown off by that, but then Paul's like, no, dude, I just want you to sign it because of the connection you have to Bucket. So it seemed that this was actually one of the first Buckethead items or Buckethead masks that he's ever been asked to sign. So he was a little bit taken aback by that in the costume, but he said it was a very convincing costume took a picture with him. I'll throw that picture up now. And of course he signed both masks, no problem. And then Paul, being the nice friend that he is, sent this one over my way. So now I would really like to try and get Buckethead to sign this. And then if I can go meet any of Buckethead's other friends in person, like Brain or even Maximum Bob, you know, even if I could maybe meet, you know, Colonel Claypool or Les Claypool as he's more commonly known. But yeah, I think this would be a cool mask to try and just get covered in signatures 
from maybe Buckethead himself, but at least some of Buckethead's surrounding friends. That would be a really, really cool piece to have. But anyways, guys, with that being said, I think that does it for today's video. I know not a lot of crazy stuff, really, or it's not that crazy if you're not a Buckethead fan or collector, but these are some really, really awesome, nice items to add to my Buckethead collection. Huge thank you to Byron for selling me that bucket, though it is kind of sad to see you leaving the collecting world. And uh, Paul, that is just such an amazing gift. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, the story to go along with it is even cooler. And Buckethead, you better get to releasing that Haunted Horror Sounds of Buckethead land. All right, I think that about does it. With that being said, there's nothing left to do but give you guys some nice close-ups of today's items. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and all the other videos we've released so far this season. I love you all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.